joining us uh, on this uh, cloudy rainy afternoon in mumbai and welcome to you from wherever you are in bangalore and delhi uh, thank you for joining us uh, uh, the third wave of covid as the government is saying is uh, probably uh, you know going to hit us soon so uh, i hope you are all safe wherever you are you are making all efforts to get fully vaccinated uh, today's agenda is very interesting uh, a couple of months back uh, we uh, worked with uh, as ravin mentioned india's largest media world's largest media investment agency group m to curate uh, a knowledge report on uh, what voice marketing is all about uh, as we have seen in the last few years uh, uh, digital adoption adoption across industries especially in the media sector has gone up significantly consumers have taken up uh, uh, digital in a very big way whether it is shopping on e-commerce whether it is you know travel bookings or consumption of media and so on what's happened uh, alongside that is that usage of uh, digital through mobile phones has evolved significantly and some of the uh, statistics this report was released uh, in uh, june and uh, the report uh, as you might have seen uh, says that a large 99% of internet penetration is now through mobile internet access is through mobile unlike the past era where web access and uh, mobile access used to be considered separately now digital and mobile have integrated entire access is happening uh, through the uh, mobile uh, phones uh, almost uh, 500 million people are now on smartphones and there is another 400 million people who are on features phones who are yet to come online through smartphones which means there is a very big opportunity an opportunity that uh, reliance through its, its geo and google collaboration is eyeing to enter into the indian market and that obviously will change the dynamics of you know internet usage to the mobile phones again we'll come to more to the, come uh, come uh, more to that a little later during our talk some of the other things that uh, the report talks about is about voice search how it has gone up almost to 70% increase in uh, uh, usage of voice search especially language search languages like hindi have jumped 400% it is natural and obvious you know when uh, all of us are using our mobile phones speaking into the phone is much faster and far more convenient than uh, using your thumbs and fingers to type uh, uh, because of the volume of work we do every day i recall uh, 20 years back when aaj tak 20 it's now more than 20 uh, 20 years around 22 years now when aaj tak launched in india and it uh, brought in this huge tsunami of language news tv in india before then ndtv television used to be an english channel on star tv called star news and aaj tak's launch led to a massive proliferation of uh, language news television in india uh, one of the things we always used to talk about was how people are uh, well versed with uh, you know talking in their own languages they might not be so adept at writing uh, the mother tongue but uh, everybody is talking in their uh, you know uh, mother tongue language or some other indian languages very regularly so consuming content in in your own tongue is a is going to lead to significant growth and then post that we saw this huge wave of uh, investment in content in language tv across news entertainment and here we are with digital uh, the biggest growth in digital also in the last few years has been uh, uh, language content and as you can see it is not surprising even search is headed that way uh some interesting tidbits i picked up 100 million queries happened on cricket in uh, 2019 that's a huge number we are already in 2021 so i'm sure that number has grown up significantly it has uh, significant implement, uh, implications for brands for marketers for companies that are looking at uh, uh, whose future is in some way connected to how people are using mobile phones especially how they are searching for content through mobile phones and uh, that is what i am going to discuss today uh, with my friend and the ceo of group m india prashant kumar pk thank you for joining us if you can switch on your camera and uh, join this talk hi pk so before we start uh, let me welcome conference uh, thanks for joining hands with us to do this and uh, before we get into our conversation i'd like you to uh, uh, you know say your opening remarks hey thanks noel thank you so much for you know welcoming me um actually uh, it's so great to catch up with all of you and uh, hope uh, you know all of you are doing well um thank you for joining us uh, on this very session with uh, exchange media 
and in mobility to discuss the role of voice and its role in the marketing mix, right? Um, I think we have all been, um, you know, this work from home concept has been going on for some time, right? I think we have been all living in a video and a voice world, right? Including this, right? <laughs> and many times only the voice world because people sometimes prefer to switch off the video, right? So voice is increasingly, we, we, I mean, we just saw what happened to Ravin, suddenly his video was there and voice was not there. And it is so important, right? So- uh, Switching anyway, for his voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, we will, we, I think uh, the day is packed with uh, some fantastic speakers, their thoughts and their thinking on the entire relevance of voice and how it's progressing. And uh, there's also some interesting cases, interesting facts and insights that the report uh, captures. We'll talk more about that uh, you know, during the session. Um, uh, it'll be an interesting and exciting session for everybody. Uh, so once again, welcome and good to catch up. Fantastic. Thank you again. And before I start with you, I'd also like to acknowledge InMobi, uh, uh, their team and uh, InMobi also contributed significantly to this uh, entire initiative. It's a joint effort between Group M and InMobi, this voice marketing effort, effort, uh, uh, report. So. Uh, as I begin, uh, PK, let me ask you, uh, uh, you know, before I get into what the report is about, and perhaps some people have already seen this or read it, let me ask you why is this report uh, being done? Uh, naturally, as I mentioned at the start, uh, voice is going at a fast pace. It is uh, something that a lot of brands, companies are looking at. Why did Group M decide to get into this area? Yeah, great. Um, I think as, as you mentioned, you know, we at Group M, in association with our research partner in Mobi, as well as the Exchange for Media, we unveil the voice box report. Um, essentially, it, it captures some of the emerging marketing trends, especially in the voice technology, right? And uh, you know, it also allows us to understand how some of these technology can help brands, uh, you know, utilize them and use them for better outcomes and therefore good results. Uh, the report captures uh, the consumer's focus uh, towards voice uh, each passing day, as well as uh, how it is influencing the consumer behavior um, in a very large extent. Um, the voice technology has emerged to be a consumer's go to preference. You know, if you look at some of the mobile activities which we do, whether it's ordering the food, we just saw the video, right? Uh, getting directions, making reservations, you know, booking the travels, and many things you know, those kind of utility apps, I think voice is becoming more and more go to preference for consumers. So all of these trends, I think, is also helping us to understand how it can play a great role in the marketing framework and how brands can actually utilize this. In fact, uh, many of the Indian internet fast uh, internet users are, are fast adopting this, you know, the search tool, and they are finding the leverage and the relevance of regional language and therefore finding comfort in that, right? Uh, at Group M, our vision is to help all brands uh, find their voice for what the future entails uh, with the development in technology. Uh, we feel that voice is a marketing tool as its uh, dimensions and complexities when it comes to bring the gap between the brand and consumers. I think uh, solutions uh, around marketing through voice is very diverse as it can be used in multiple ways to target both urban and rural audiences, right? And, and while we see that, you know, in the urban market, you know, the audience has already captured, you know, these kind of trends much faster, it is also fast evolving into the rural market, right? And, you know, many of these trends uh, are captured in the voice report. And we feel that some is a trend which can be very useful for the brands, for the marketers. And uh, it's, uh, this entire report is one of the steps in that direction. Fantastic. Uh, before I dive back into voice, let me uh, pull back a little bit and go to a you know broader uh, level conversation. Uh, COVID has, as we've all seen, given a massive push push to digital adoption among consumers and companies alike. And uh, a lot of these trends were already in the play. What COVID has done in the last 14, 15 months is perhaps something that might have anyway happened over a three, four year time period. Uh, companies are very uh, deeply impacted. Overnight, they've had to adapt. Companies that were sitting on the fence have had to kind of jump in and figure out ways of working this out. According to you, what are the three uh, key trends you've seen 
uh, uh, which are very important for brands to understand uh, in terms of what's happened in the last 15 months because uh, once COVID goes away, the adoption of digital is only going to increase, the penetration is only going to increase further. We are not going to go back to the pre-COVID era when it comes to digital, right? So what are the things, three, four things that, uh, you know, you've seen as Group M and uh, what, uh, what you think uh, brands should understand and prepare their future uh, strategy accordingly? No, it's a very significantly important question at the same time, very a question that covers, you know, a lot of width. As you rightly mentioned, uh, anyways, there was a, uh, a trend as well as the evolution of digital that the market has been witnessing. And what COVID has really done is to, you know, make people do this faster, uh, you know, experiment things, uh, you know, as consumers experiment things in, in different forms. And it has also therefore accelerated the utility of many of the technology aspects, you know, in our daily life, right? Uh, you know, uh, given the context that we are almost closer to 600 million active mobile users, uh, uh, almost 500 million smartphone users, uh, all of this, as you mentioned, Naval, earlier in your, you know, narrative, that the already there is a almost as equal to three, 300 percent, 270 to 300 percent increase in the voice search in the country, right? And these are all uh, actually you know, allowing one of the trends as voice, the voice also convenience, right? So this is actually a convenient enabled technology which is helping people. So one, definitely one of the trends we're seeing is the entire voice technology is one of the key, you know, trend which we should watch out for, right? Uh, there are many more, um, you know, aspects which comes in. I think um, if you look at the entire framework of e-com, if you look at the entire framework of AI, machine learning, augmented reality, I think as a practice, the entire influential marketing as such uh, has come in as a trend, which is helping marketers to find relevance for, you know, as well as connecting to consumers. Um, and many of this, many marketers are experimenting, they are seriously, you know, applying it um, into the marketing framework. Not only that, it is also, uh, you know, uh, being used into the entire business operations, right? The business shifts are happening using some of these technologies. In fact, it is uh, very soon we will see an ecosystem in India where you know many of these technologies are being more put to use to, to ensure we recruit more consumers for brands as well as staying engaged with these, you know, these consumers, right? Uh, you know, this uh, this as as voice and more because of the relevance of the voice we're talking. Uh, this will be a situation where, you know, a voice to access a service on the internet, uh, you know, we will see soon many, many organizations putting that to use in their business, in the devices, uh, and as a concept, how quickly the technology, you know, will evolve to make it a, a regular behavior, right? So many of this is evolving faster. We are seeing this already as uh, one of the you know, fast evolving space for marketers to try out as well as engage with consumers. And this is a continuous journey. Fantastic. Uh, uh, very important points there. I wish we had to time uh, to delve into each of them in detail, but perhaps that that's for another day. Uh, uh, what we've also seen, uh, PK, with digital is uh, digital is working at multi levels, right? Uh, there are companies, uh, FMCG companies, for instance, that have uh, adopted to e-commerce that, that have had to adopt to e-commerce overnight. There are new brands which are uh, which are in legacy industries, so to say, uh, which are launched only online. There are digital first brands. We have seen so many of them that have come up in the last uh, few months or perhaps the last two years. There is uh, you know adoption of e-commerce that has been such an important aspect. And e-commerce is one area where, uh, you know, the game has changed for companies across sectors. Uh, there is no industry which is not touched by e-commerce. And I know that WPP also has a very significant e-commerce practice. Uh, tell me uh, the changing landscape of how digital is uh, being consumed by or being used by consumers and its impact on brands obviously cannot leave the agency ecosystem untouched. Agencies have also had to kind of acquire skills very fast, have had to adopt very fast, uh, unless you want to really become a relic of the past. Uh, what you have seen is that, you know, uh, naturally agencies and brands have to go where consumers are going. 
what are the two three things that you think the agency uh, today needs to do or what are your learnings as the le- as a leader from the last 15 months of how your future is looking like for the over the next you know 3 4 years for an agency advertising agency i think these are exciting times now <clears throat> these are uh, truly once in a lifetime experience which you're seeing you know over the last so many generations we have never seen a situation like this where the pandemic has pandemic has come and influenced you know every level across uh, and the from livelihood to um, you know to building a future everything has uh, you know taken a different pattern and help people to you know reach out their entire aspect right any industry i mean health tech of course health healthcare wellness etc is, is a given but the technology aspect into this is obviously making it more and more uh you know uh, more and more faster more and more convenient more and more useful for people to work on right uh this is again a very vast subject um uh, i think uh, as i mentioned earlier there are lots of trends which are coming in uh you know we have mentioned about the ai ar voice programmatic aspect which is now you know it's not any more new uh personalization which continues to be relevant you know different formats of video marketing aspect you know the shoppable con- content you know we talked about ecom there are t2c platforms marketers are actually working on influencer marketing and so on i mean imagine you know five years back we probably did not have any of these you know <laughs> any of these terminologies being used in the conversation right and that's all come in especially in the last you know eight to ten months uh you know again as an ecosystem from an agency perspective you know our job uh, you know for a purposeful communication for our clients is to enable our clients to lead our clients right we need to be you know a couple of steps ahead uh, right and being a leader the responsibility comes on to shape the market in that order right so a, a lot more emphasis on how technology can be used becomes a key priority for all of us right a lot more emphasis on how we can help each other by developing each other training each other you know learning becomes a key priority for all of us right i think uh, it's also important to experience and in order to experience in this world which is evolving you got to experiment so taking some risk you know experimenting few things uh, you know actually you know earning a space uh, for yourself to do a few mistakes if, if that is okay uh, however you know learning of those mistakes and using that and applying that to build for uh, all of this becomes extremely critical i think it's important to keep a close watch on the consumer base understand what's happening in their life uh, deeply get insights on them listen to them hear them out know what's going on this is a scenario where you know in our country we have we have a mixture of uh, you know a uh, 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 mixture of uh, aspects like lockdowns which are happening in multiple geography in different forms uh, so we have been tested in a continuous manner so i i we, we genuinely feel that in all of this uh, the enablement of technology the enablement of the you know adopting to different you know solutions uh, and trying out every time actually helps to build in the newer solutions to make it more impactful so we are in a continuous journey right now right we are still in not in a we can't even use the word post covid yet right uh, so this journey is is, is more learning we got to really get into it it is exciting time i think these are all uh, newer things for people to learn and adopt to uh, so yes uh, uh, these are few things which we are doing within ourselves uh, uh, we are also very concerned about how we can help our, our people as well as you know get diverse thinking and get diverse thoughts within it so that we build a, a stronger team uh, to challenge ourselves right so these are few things now you know which you are hey. currently i think very rightly said the other day i was having a similar conversation with hemant malik of itc and two things he said stuck to me one was that how they created a training program for the leadership team on digital because the youngsters uh, uh, know much more than some of the leadership team members do in terms of their adaptability and their usage the skill level on digital and the other thing he said to me which you also kind of reinforce is about allowing your uh, team pushing them to make mistakes doing it even if they make mistakes because digital is so new for everyone that you the only way to learn is by going out and do it and sort of uh, you know experimenting let me uh, go back to our topic of discussion today uh, which is voice here 
and you know i know uh, individual aspects of uh, your rep the report you've done as well as the key aspects will be discussed in the sessions that follow uh, this conversation but i wanted to uh, specifically talk to you about regionalization of voice uh, what trends uh, have you seen uh, some of those are mentioned in the report but what's your sense on that because india is such a vast heterogeneous country across every sphere of our life now uh, you know language has taken over uh, whether it is media or you know consumer goods language is the primary driving force of consumption and uh, what are the trends you've seen uh, when it comes to language in the you know voice space yeah just like you know how we keep saying that we probably not just one country we are a combination of multiple countries uh, essentially because there are multiple languages and there are you know multiple culture and you know it, it's important to understand how the technology again is enable getting enabled here i think the indian internet uses a fast adopting uh, the search tool and finding comfort in regional languages uh, the engagement in local languages is a fun way to communicate and even learn right um, we are also seeing already that some of the big tech companies and voice platform companies like alexa google and geo uh they are all supporting regional languages right uh in fact you know a language is probably the fast way to get to the you know the heart of the country so therefore it could be a secret success for many brands many of us are observing this uh brands marketers you know the entire ecosystem uh to this change in the consumer behavior and i think uh, there are multiple options and solutions which are emerging out right many of them you will see as examples uh, in the in today's agenda and uh, some of the cases that are and insights are also captured in the report fantastic uh, i've been already sent messages to wrap up the session since the other speakers are waiting so before we go one last question pk uh, i assume there's a lot of work uh, on clients that is happening at group m when it comes to voice so what are the initiatives group m has specifically taken and how are you evangelizing uh, you know voice as a ecosystem i think uh, you know uh, it's a it's a very interesting space we feel it's a fantastic trend where many marketers can get uh, you know larger impact and very useful to the entire you know effort they're putting for the brand growth um uh, you know the the entire convenience of voice uh, we at wpp mumbai campus we have rolled out an experiential voice lab that actually welcomes you know all clients and partners to come and experience the power of voice in fact that's a space which i would uh, you know you know now we should also come over and see and experience that and it's a it's a fantastic thing for again learning uh, you know uh, learning experience uh, we're also helping some of the world's biggest brands by using interactive voice ads to engage with the consumers on an increasingly uh, in an increasing scale we're actively evangelizing voice you know and the emerging tech by running cascading workshops uh, knowledge different knowledge sessions from different experts uh, in fact uh, one of the example is the entire instamatic voice AI technology was used to implement an interactive voice ad campaign on the Ghana platform with over two hundred fifty thousand, you know, voice engagements in India. I am sure you will hear many of these case studies uh, through the rest of the day. Fantastic. With that, let me thank you again, PK, for joining us. Thank you for collaborating with us uh, to bring to curate this initiative. Uh, uh, I hope uh, we are able to meet physically sometime very soon, and this uh, entire episode is behind us. uh back to you uh, ravin and i look forward to the rest of the sessions like all of us yeah i would also like to thank the entire euphonium team and inmobi team for helping us together to put the report and i wish everybody all the best and uh, take care you know wish you good health and have a fantastic day thank you